Mark, you write to me saying, working on a loan modification, it was asked for an in-home rental agreement since I owned my own house before I was married. Is this a standard rental with my spouse? She provides partial income. Here's the way I understand it's worked. I've talked to lawyers that do nothing but loan modifications. Let's say you're not even married and somebody's contributing to the income. Uh, you're leasing out, you know, a bedroom to somebody. In order to qualify for the loan mod, they want to know any other income from within the home. So yes, they would want a rental agreement showing that somebody's contributing $400 a month towards the payment on the house. Same thing in this situation. If this property was yours before marriage and your wife's contributing to it, although it seems stupid, the bottom line is the fact, yes, they do want a rental agreement between yourself and your spouse. And let me tell you, they know you're just gonna write one up anyway, and one never existed. And the reason behind that is they wanna be able to justify that to whomever's involved, the investor or otherwise, that there's another source of income. I have seen, by the way, some rental agreements that once they're produced, they deny the modification because they say there's enough income there. You should raise the rent on the person you're renting from in order to make the mortgage payment. So it cuts both ways. But yes, they have the right to ask it. And don't forget, if you don't give it to them, they probably won't approve the, mod approve the modification. Modifications still have to show that you have hardship. And remember, most of them are band-aids because if the value of the property is not there, ultimately, you'll default and tell the people to take it away.